Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Tonight I'm going to be watching something I haven't watched for several months now. And that's going to be Outlander. I haven't seen a new episode of Outlander since very late July or very early August. I got so far ahead of my uploading that I kind of put it on pause until I could get caught up. And it's just taken this long to get all of those episodes uploaded. So a couple of days ago I uploaded the last episode that I had watched which was episode 5 from season 2. But I don't remember a whole lot about the episode, so I can't kind of recap what I saw in the previous episode or what I necessarily expect in the upcoming episode. Because, it, like I say, this is December the 24th now, and it was probably right around July 31st or August 1st, August 2nd, somewhere within that last week of July, first week of August, that I watched episode 5 from season 2. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get right into episode 6 from the second season. I do know that they are in Paris, of course, and they are trying to find a way to thwart the funding of the Jacobite uprising. And I remember that Mary Hawkins had been raped, and Blackjack Randall's brother had been accused of the crime. But beyond that, I don't necessarily remember a whole lot more. I do remember from my editing, of course, that I just did a few days ago, that Black Jack Randall has shown back up in Paris. And there has been the threat of a duel. So from there, I'm going to go ahead and press play, and we're going to get started with this episode. You can't kill Randall. It would be as if you're killing Frank, too. Now you have your choice. Hem on me. One year after that, I swear, I will help you bleed him myself. A year. Not one day more. I remember that now from my editing that Jamie agreed to the one year. But the way he left it with Claire was pretty icy, pretty, pretty chilly. And she seemed pretty devastated by that. Uh, you may also notice if you've been watching my Outlander reactions, but you haven't seen any of my other reactions, I have a new microphone. And that hopefully cuts down on a lot of the hiss, a lot of the background noise that my other microphone caused. So hopefully, my recordings will be a little bit better, a little bit better quality. I've been using this microphone now for month and a half or so on, on my other recordings. So this is the first Outlander I'll be recording with it. Now I wonder what this is going to symbolize here. Usually they have something that symbolizes something within the episode there at the beginning. So what does this torch symbolize? You need to concentrate I'll fetch the broadswords. Mm -hmm. He has to break the, the news to Murtaugh that skills. he agreed to one year. You can't. Well, before supper then, rather not wait till tomorrow. You need to work that bad hand. Not dueling with Randall. Why? Well, it's more complicated. Now, I don't remember. I'm a simple man, but strive for an explanation. I can't but Murtaugh doesn't know can't. about Claire, does he? They Ranging haven't told him yet. A woman in flux. Trust I've a sound reason. Good morning, Master Murta. Says you. Ah, tant pis. <laughs> My lady has instructed that you have a proper meal to start your day. I'd forgotten that she was pregnant. Like I say, it's been a couple of months. It's been a few months since I've watched any episodes. You're going somewhere? I've been summoned by His Majesty to perform my usual duties. Ah, oh, your usual duties. What crime is this man being executed for? It is said to be several persons, practitioners of the dark arts. 
and all those who associate with them. Hmm. When is this to happen? Well, Once she knows. Help, I suppose. One person. I thought perhaps they should be hanged. But the king's pleasure is to have them drawn and quartered. So I must be. I have made you pale with this tedious conversation. Perhaps our friend, Master Raymond, would be better company. He seemed to be implying a little bit of a threat there, or a little bit of foreknowledge, or a little bit of something. She's going to warn him. We need to leave the city at once. The king is on a crusade to root out practitioners of the black arts from Paris. Yes, yes. This has happened before. It is of no concern. If it is as you say, you shouldn't have come here. You've put yourself at grave risk. Hmm. That's true. Because they're probably watching him. This is what friends do for one another. We have thwarted them all we can, Claire. We may find ourselves staring into the abyss awaiting us at the bottom of Culloden Moor. So if anything should happen to me... Don't talk like that. I want there to be a place for you. Someone to care for you. Before I burn. I want it to be a man that loves you. So... <laughs> now it's my turn to ask you for a promise. Promise me that if the time should come, you will go back through the stones, back to Frank. I promise. Well, we know she keeps that promise because that's the way the season started out. With her back in the 1940s. I forget what year, 46, 47? Et voila. I give you smallpox. Masquerades and games. What's next? A rousing game of charades? That is angry. <sighs> Don't blame him. We need to tell him. Oh, they're going to tell him the truth. They said they would. I was just thinking that exact same thing. But Everything. Everything. <laughs> well, this ought to be interesting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but not just yet. Well, I hope we get to hear the conversation. I'd really like to hear his reaction. Well, I guess we're not going to, though. Well, is he going to believe him? If you believe... Your wife to be a a witch? <laughs> a witch. Then who am I to contradict you? <laughs> Not exactly the reaction I was expecting. You should have trusted me with that knowledge from the beginning. Now how's he going to respond to Claire next time he talks to her? Hmm. So, this must be the first meeting after he learned of her being a time traveler. You lived through these years still. Yes. This is the year I was born. And this is the year I became a nurse. Healer. During the World War. 
You care what happens to the Jacobites? Yeah, she knows. Yes. That's why they're trying to stop it. I know it. when the rising begins. Then you know how it ends, too. And it doesn't end well. No. Unless we stop it from happening altogether. But you can all the dates. When things will happen. When people will die. I don't know about you. Or Jamie. About any of us. She knows about Black Jack Randall. Even knowing what Jamie says you do. I wouldn't want to bear that burden. Well, I'm glad they've told Murtaugh now. That should help with some of the storylines. He needs to be careful. Place these bottles where the men are sure to find them. Brush this on the insides of the coats. Careful not to get it on your hands. Mission accomplished. Now get out of there. Oh, well, that went well. I have expected him to get caught. Well, success. I didn't linger to find out. We'll can soon enough, though. It must work. Charles can't get his hands on that money. Hmm. The flash money down. If anyone can deliver pestilence and disease, hmm. it's us. Hmm. 